Korean Airlines Co. Limited, operating as Korean Air, is the largest airline in South Korea based on fleet size, international destinations and international flights. The airline's global headquarters located in Seoul, South Korea. Korean Air's international passenger division and related subsidiary cargo division together serve 127 cities in 44 countries, while its domestic division serves 12 destinations. It is among the top 20 airlines in the world in terms of passengers carried and is also the top-ranked international cargo airline. In turn International Airport serves as Korean Air's international hub. Korean Air All also maintains a satellite headquarters campus at Intern. Korean Air was originally founded as the Korean National Airlines in 1946. After several years of service and expansion, the airline was fully privatized in 1969 and commenced operations on 1 March 1969. The airline celebrated its 45th anniversary in 2014. The majority of Korean Air's pilots, ground staff, and flight attendants are based in Seoul. Korean Air is the parent company of Jin Air and is a founding member of Sky Team. The alliance has since become the second largest alliance in the world behind Star Alliance. It was voted Asia's best airline by business traveler readers in 2012. Korean Air is currently an official sponsor of the 2018 Winter Olympics. History Founding Korean Air was founded by the South Korean government in 1962 as Korean Airlines to replace Korean National Airlines, which was founded in 1946. On 1 March 1969, the Hanjin Transport Group took control of the airline. International flights to Hong Kong, Taiwan and Los Angeles were flown with Boeing 707s until the introduction of the Boeing 747 in 1973. In 1973, the airline introduced Boeing 747s on its Pacific routes and started a European service to Paris, France using the 707 and then DC-10. In 1975, the airline became one of the first Asian Airlines to operate Airbus aircraft with the purchase of three Airbus A300s, which were put into immediate service on Asian routes. Since the South Korean planes were prohibited to fly over the Soviet and North Korean airspace during the era, the European routes had to be designed eastbound, such as Gimpo Anchorage Paris, changed to Korean Air, a blue top. Silver and redesigned livery with a new corporate Korean Air logo featuring a stylized Tajik design was introduced on 1 March 1984, and the airline's name changed to Korean Air from Korean Airlines. This livery was introduced on its Fokker F-28s. It was designed in cooperation between Korean Air and Boeing. In the 1990s, Korean Air became the first airline to use the new MD-11 to supplement its new fleet of Boeing 747-400 aircraft. However, the MD-11 did not meet the airline's performance requirements and they were eventually converted to freighters. Some older 747 aircraft were also converted for freight service. Further expansion and founding of Jin Air in the 1980s, Korean Air's head office was in the Cal building on Nam Di Mano, Yeonggu, Seoul. As of 2007, Korean Air was in negotiations to open its China hub in Beijing or Shanghai by the end of 2008. On 5 June 2007, Korean Air said that it would create a new locust carrier called Jin Air in Korea to compete with Korea's KTX high-speed railway network system, which offers cheaper fares and less stringent security procedures compared to air travel, which started its scheduled passenger service from Seoul to Jeju on 17 July 2008. Korean Air announced that some of its 737s and A300s would be given to Jin Air. By 2009, Korean Air's image had become more prestigious, differing from the airline's late 1990s image, which had been tarnished by several fatal accidents.
In mid-2010, a co-marketing deal with games company Blizzard Entertainment sent a 747 to 400 and a 737 to 900 taking to the skies wrapped in StarCraft II branding. In August 2010, Korean Air announced heavy second quarter losses despite record high revenue. In August 2010, Hanjin Group, the parent of Korean, opened a new cargo terminal at Navoy in Uzbekistan, which will become a cargo hub with regular intern Navoy Milan flights. Korean Air currently owns five hotels, two Cal hotels on Jeju Island, the Hyatt in Intern, Waikiki Resort in Hawaii and a currently redeveloping hotel, office building called the Wilshire Grand Tower. This building in downtown Los Angeles will house the largest intercontinental hotel in the Americas in what will be the tallest building in Los Angeles. In 2013, Korean Air acquired a 44% stake in Czech Airlines. Corporate Affairs and Identity Major centers Korean Air's main global headquarters campus, the Korean Air Operations Center, is located in Gonghandong, Gangseogu in Seoul. Korean Air All also maintains a domestic office campus at Gimpo International Airport in Seoul. Korean Air's lesser domestic hubs are based at Jeju International Airport, Jeju and Gimpo International Airport, Pusan. The maintenance facilities are located in Gimma International Airport. The airline had 16,623 employees. The North America headquarters for passenger operations is located in Westlake, Los Angeles, United States. While its cargo operations for North America are on the property of Los Angeles International Airport in Westchester, Los Angeles. The European headquarters are located in the city of Westminster, London. The French office is in the first arrondissement of Paris. The German office is in West End, Frankfurt. The Commonwealth of Independent States headquarters are located in Tiberskoy District, Central Administrative Okrug, Moscow, Russia. Its Southeast Asia, Oceania headquarters are in the Ocean Tower in Singapore. Its Japanese headquarters are in the Tokyo Korean Air Building in Shiba, Minato, Tokyo. Its Chinese offices are in the Hyundai Motor Tower in Chaoyang District, Beijing. Its Hong Kong sales office is in Tower 2 of the South Seas Center in Kowloon. Destinations Korean Air serves 114 international destinations in 50 countries on six continents, excluding code shares. The airline's international hub is Intern International Airport in Intern. The airline also flies 13 domestic destinations within South Korea. Cal operates between Intern and 22 cities in mainland China, and along with Asiana Airlines. It is one of the two largest foreign airlines to operate into the People's Republic of China. Korean Air, along with Air China, British Airways, Delta Airlines, Emirates, Etihad Airways, Qantas, Qatar Airways, Singapore Airlines, South African Airways and United Airlines, is one of few airlines that fly to all six inhabited continents. Code share agreements with the exception of Middle East Airlines and TAROM, Korean Air has code share agreements with all other SkyTeam members, as well as the following airlines, Aeroflot, Aerolineas Argentinas, Aero Mexico, Air Berlin, Air Kalen, Air Europa, Air France, Air Tahiti Nui, Alaska Airlines, Alitalia, American Airlines, American Eagle, Aurora, China Airlines, China Eastern Airlines, China Southern Airlines, Czech Airlines, Delta Airlines, Emirates Airlines, Etihad Airways, Garuda Indonesia, Gold Transporters Aereos, Hainan Airlines, Hawaiian Airlines, Iberia Airlines, Japan Airlines, Jet Airways, Jin Air, Kenya Airways, KLM, LAN Airlines, LAN Peru, Malaysia Airlines, MIAT Mongolian Airlines, Myanmar Airways International, Rasiya Airlines, Saudia, Shanghai Airlines, TAM Airlines, Uzbekistan Airways, Vietnam Airlines, 
WestJet, Xiamen Airlines, Korean Air is an airline partner of Skywoods, the frequent flyer program for Emirates. Skywoods members can earn miles for flying Korean Air and can redeem miles for free flights. In addition, on certain routes, Korean Air's code-sharing agreement with Malaysia Airlines also allows Malaysia Airlines enriched members to earn miles even when they are flying with Korean Air fleet. Korean Air's fleet consists of the following aircraft. Korean Air is the first Airbus A380 customer to dedicate the entire upper deck of the A380 to business class passengers. Korean Air announced on 4 December 2009 that it would order five Boeing 747-8 intercontinental aircraft worth $1.5 billion in list prices. This is in addition to the seven Boeing 747-8F freighters Korean Air Cargo will be operating. On 6 February 2012, the first Boeing 747-8F and Boeing 777-F aircraft were delivered to Korean Air becoming the first airline in the world to operate both of these aircraft. Retired fleet The company has previously operated the following aircraft. Airbus A300F, Airbus A300B42C, Airbus A300-600R, Airbus A300-600RF, Boeing 707-300C, Boeing 707-320B, Boeing 720, Boeing 727-100, Boeing 727-200, Boeing 747SP, Boeing 747-200B, Boeing 747-200C, Boeing 747-200F, Boeing 747-200SF, Boeing 747-300B, Boeing 747-300M, Boeing 747-300SF. Boeing 747-400M, Boeing 747-400BCF, Douglas DC-3, Douglas DC-4, Douglas DC-8-60, McDonnell Douglas DC-9-32, McDonnell Douglas DC-10-30, McDonnell Douglas MD-11, McDonnell Douglas MD-11F, McDonnell Douglas MD-82, McDonnell Douglas MD-83, Lockheed L-749A, Fokker F-27-200, Fokker F-27-500, Fokker F-28-4000, Fokker 100, Fairchild Hiller FH-227, Casa C-212, NAMCYS-11A200, Aircraft Interiors, Korean Air offers four types of first class, three types of business class, and two types of economy class. First class prestige class seats include prestige sleeper seats on all Boeing 777-300As and Airbus A380s, as well as 777-200A aircraft that feature Cosmo Suites seats, Prestige Plus seats on most of the Boeing 777-200A fleet, most of the Boeing 747-400 fleet, and one Boeing 777-300 and old Prestige Class seats. Prestige Sleeper seats recline to 180 degrees while Prestige Plus seats recline up to 172 degrees. Old Prestige Class seats recline up to only 138 degrees although these seats are being phased out except for on Boeing 737 aircraft. Prestige Class Prestige Class seats include Prestige Sleeper seats on all Boeing 777-300As and Airbus A380s, as well as 777-200A aircraft that feature Cosmo Suites seats. Prestige Plus seats on most of the Boeing 777-200A fleet. 
most of the Boeing 747-400 fleet, and one Boeing 777-300, and old Prestige class seats. Prestige sleeper seats recline to 180 degrees, while Prestige Plus seats recline up to 172 degrees. Old Prestige Class seats recline up to only 138 degrees, although these seats are being phased out except for on Boeing 737 aircraft. Economy Class Economy Class seats recline up to 121 degrees. A new type of seat called New Economy Class is being installed on all Boeing 777-300R and Boeing 777-200R aircraft with Cosmo suites. All Boeing 777-300 aircraft, some Airbus A330-300 aircraft, some Airbus A330-200 aircraft and the Airbus A380 aircraft. The Cosmo Suites seats and the Prestige Sleeper seats were first introduced in the Boeing 777-300ers in May 2009. Both seats could stretch to 180 degrees and became more private than seats before. The color Celadon Green, which represents the characteristics of Korea, is incorporated as the primary dominant colors to all First Class and Prestige Class seats. Dark blue and mocha chocolate colors are used on the economy seats. The Korean Air Airbus A380-800 aircraft also feature an in-flight bar called the Celestial Bar in partnership with Absolute Vodka, featuring a range of Absolute cocktails, along with an integrated lounge space. It is located on the upper deck business class cabin, and is accessible only to first and prestige class passengers. On the lower deck of the A380, there is a Lancome-designed duty-free shop located in the rear of the cabin that is available to all passengers. Loyalty Program SKYPASS is the frequent flyer program of Korean Air. SKYPASS also refers to the blue card which Korean Air frequent flyers are given. The motto of SKYPASS is beyond your imagination. The program's elite levels are comparable to those of other airlines' frequent flyer programs, requiring members to fly a 30,000 miles per two-year cycle. Qualification for the highest level is based on lifetime flight miles, requiring a customer to fly 1 million miles per million miler, which is the highest elite status or 500,000 miles for morning calm premium, which comes second. Both membership levels are eligible for SkyTeam Elite Plus privileges. Membership in these levels are granted for life. Aerospace Research and Manufacturing Korean Air is also involved in aerospace research and manufacturing. The division, known as the Korean Air Aerospace Division, manufactures licensed versions of the MD-500 and UH-60 Black Hawk helicopters as well as the F-5E, F-Tiger II fighter aircraft, the aft fuselage and wings for the KF-16 fighter aircraft manufactured by Korean Aerospace Industries and parts for various commercial aircraft, including the Boeing 737, 747, 777, 787 and the Airbus A330 and A380. In 1991 the division designed and flew the Korean Air Changong 91 light aircraft. CAR also provides aircraft maintenance support for the United States Department of Defense in Asia and maintains a research division with focuses on launch vehicles, satellites, commercial aircraft, military aircraft, helicopters and simulation systems. In October 2012, a joint development deal between Bombardier Aerospace and a government-lead South Korean consortium was revealed to develop a 90-seater turboprop regional airliner, targeting a 2019 launch date. The consortium would include Korea Aerospace Industries and Korean Airlines. Incidents and Accidents Korean Air had many fatal accidents between 1970 and 1999, during which time it wrote off 16 aircraft in serious incidents and accidents with the loss of 700 lives. 
On 1 September 1983, Korean Airlines Flight 007, carrying 269 people, including a sitting U.S. Congressman, Larry McDonald, was shot down by the Soviets west of Sakhalin Island. The last fatal passenger incident was the Korean Air Flight 801 crash in 1997, which killed 228 people. The last crew fatality was Korean Air Cargo Flight 8509 in December 1999. Since the last fatality in 1999, Korean Air has not had any crash fatalities. Criticism Chi Bowl and Nepotism Korean Air has been cited as one of the examples of the South Korean Chi Bowl system, which is the corporate conglomerate, established with government support, overreaching diverse branches of industry. Since Korean Air was founded as the Korean National Airlines in 1946 and privatized in 1969, the airline had been virtually the only one commercial airline company until Asiana Airlines was established in 1988. The process of privatization of Korean Airline in 1969 was supported by Park Chung-hee, the South Korean military general president who seized power of the country through a military coup DEQTAT and the monopoly of the airline was secured for two decades. After widening the Chi Bowl branches, the subsidiary corporations of Korean Air include marine and overland transportation business, hotel, real estate among others and the previous branches included heavy industry, passenger transportation, construction, among stockbroking business. The nature of the South Korean Chi Bowl system involves nepotism. A series of incidents of Korean Air in 2000s have revealed an ugly side of the culture within Chi Bowls. South Korean's giant family-run conglomerates, Nut Rage, Incident Cho Hai and R, also known as Heather Cho, is the daughter of the chairman Cho Yang Ho. She resigned from some of her duties in late 2014 after she ordered a Korean air jet to return to the gate to allow a flight attendant to be removed from the plane. The attendant had served Cho nuts in a bag instead of on a plate. As a result of further fallout, Cho Hai and Na was later arrested by Korean authorities for violating South Korea's aviation safety laws.